Hey, it's Mike from the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today's just gonna be a real quick video. I'm gonna talk about how I tightened up the ground wire, the ground cable uh, that's attached to the frame of the trailer. Logan and the Hobo. Best in our last trip, we were out in Jabo Canyon and I had an issue with the uh, battery not recharging. And when I was troubleshooting it, uh, troubleshooting the converter one of the things it said to do is check the ground on the batteries and so sure enough the ground hooking into the frame of the trailer was loose i posted my issue on one of the forums i'm on one of the rv forums and some good advice i got was to clean all the connections and use a compound called noalox on all the connections noalox is a grease and it conducts electricity and it's anti-corrosive and this is what it looks like right here So this is the self-tapping screw that was installed from the factory. And I don't know if you can tell, but right there in the middle, the threads are a little bit screwed up. And so it wasn't, that's, I'm sure that's why it became loose in the first place. And so I went to about my gazillionth trip to Lowe's for today. And I picked up some machine screws, number 14 by one inch. They're the same size. Except they're not self-tapping because I already had the hole there. And I put that in, snugged up like a dream. No issues whatsoever. Nice and tight now. And I got that, uh, the new lock washer on there, the Star lock washer. In case you didn't know before, now I'm sure you realize that, uh, you know, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff by any stretch of the imagination. I just enjoy working on my own stuff. And, I uh, hope you find the video interesting. The main thing I wanted you to get out of this video was the Nolux. The Nolux, it's an anti-corrosive, uh, anti-oxidant conducting uh, grease that I put on there. And I got that tip from a guy called Eddie, who is on a member of a forum that I'm on. And he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, he does solar installs on RVs. And I believe his YouTube channel is called Mobile Homesteading. Mobile Homesteading. Anyway. Thanks for that tip from Eddie. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.